Hello and a very warm welcome to Saurav Search classes. In today's tutorial, we will actually be solving some sums that have appeared in the previous year question paper of IIT Jam Mathematical Statistics. If you want to get hold of the entire solution set, you can contact us on this number. In case of any further details with regard to the courses we offer, the structure or if you wish to enroll yourself as a candidate here, then you can check in our official website which is www.sorofsourceclasses.com. Now the first question is question number one. The matrix M is given to us. It is 3 into 3 and we need to calculate an eigen ve vector for this matrix M. So let us do it. So, eigenvalue of M, which is the M matrix given by, so I am rewriting the matrix, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 2. This is equal is, so let me write, is 2. Okay. So, let X is given by X, Y, Z and this be the, for the time being, be the eigenvector. So eigenvector. Now we have this implies that M minus 2 into identity matrix into X is equal to 0. So let us substitute the values. So we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 into X, Y, Z will be equal to 0, 0, 0, isn't it? So, this implies that y is equal to 0 and z is also equal to 0. So, the eigenvector looks something like this. 1, 0, 0. This is our eigenvector. So, the correct answer will be option number A. Now, we move on to question number 2. The question number 2 is... The volume of solid of revolution generated by revolving the area bounded by the curve and the curve is y under root x and the straight line this and this about the x axis will be. So we need to comment on the volume of the solid. So we'll do this using integration method because there is a lower and our upper limit also given. So let's do it. So volume of solid revolution about x-axis will be so I am denoting it by V integration 0 to 4 pi y square dx this is the formula so we can rewrite this integration 0 to 4 4 pi x dx this can be rewritten as pi x square by 2 0 to 4 and this will be 8 pi will be our answer. So the correct answer will be option number C. So I hope this short tutorial on mathematical statistic was helpful to you guys. If it was then please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we upload videos on daily basis which will be helpful to you guys. And don't forget to share our videos. And thank you so much for watching.